Hey, Budget Gardeners, Vita Loca here. I live in central New Hampshire and I garden in Zone 5B. Join me today as I give you a tour of the seedlings that I have growing under my grow lights. Before I start my end of February seedling tour, there were a few things that I wanted to share. My last frost falls in the middle of May. I'm growing seedlings indoors just outside my kitchen area. Everything I'm showing today was planted the end of January through the middle of February. I still have plenty of seeds to start, so please be sure to subscribe and like. Most seeds were scattered heavily in restaurant to-go containers and then covered with saran wrap. When they started sprouting, I pricked them out and planted them into six cell plug trays. I bottom water my seedlings and I fertilize them once a week with half a strength miracle Grow. I only fertilize when a few true leaves have shown. Finally, I use an oscillating fan for air movement, stronger plants, and to keep diseases at bay. Okay, we're gonna start with my black Simpson seeded lettuce, which I have over here. And I'm gonna be potting them up soon in seven inch pots. Next, we have my Caesar lettuce. That was slow to start. I started at the same time as the black Simpson lettuce, but that's all right. It's at least I do have a few plants of that. Finally, I have angel wing begonia, which is over here. And I started those from rooted cuttings of a mother plant that I have. And then the last but not least over here is the outrageous lettuce. Here's some geranium. And I collected the seeds last year and was able to sprout a few plants from those seeds. Over here, we have some cilantro, which tastes delicious on Mexican food. Over here are a bunch of Mary Washington asparagus seedlings. I grew these same type of seedlings last year, and even though it'll take about three years for them to grow to maturity, I'm still happy that I have a lot more asparagus plants. Over here, I have celery that I talked about in a previous video. And over here are some dormant geranium plants. Uh, they're actually not dormant anymore, but they were dormant. I brought them up from my basement in a previous video, and they're looking really good. And the last plant at the end are violets that I got cuttings of, and I'm growing them into mature plants. These are trays of plants that I started from seed. I've already pricked out almost all the plants from them. I'm just waiting to see if any more plants are gonna germinate. And if not, I will be reusing the soil from these trays. I have some amaryllis growing over here and I plan on bringing them out in the late spring, early summer, planting them in the landscape so that they can give energy to the bulbs. Then I will bring them in later in the year for dormancy and then they will grow again next winter. I can't wait. In this tray over here, I have a number of things growing. I have datil peppers, some mild jalapeno peppers, and then over here are some red salvia. It's the Splendens salvia, and I collected the seeds last year from that. I also have a bunch more of this type of salvia growing. This next tray over here, towards the back, I have California Wonder Sweet Bell Peppers, Orange Bell Peppers, Purple Bell Peppers, and some nice hot habanero peppers. These next four trays are full of onion seeds, onion seedlings, I should say. And there are some burgundy onion in these two trays. And in these two trays over here, I have some sweet Spanish yellow Utah jumbo onions. I am planning on pricking them out and putting them into some containers pretty soon. And then over in this tray here, I have some basil and I'm planning to take cuttings from the basil and propagate them. And I also have a little teeny tiny succulent that I got from my daughter. I love snapdragons. This whole entire tray is full of red snap snapdragons from 
that were collected from seed from last year. This next tray over here has a mix of yellow snapdragons, a Ford hook tall snapdragon, and also some pink snapdragons. The pink snapdragons as well as the yellow snapdragons were, I collected the seeds of those from last year as well. It'll be interesting to see if they come true to their color. And then these final two trays are full of dark red snapdragons. Same thing, I collected the seeds last year from these plants. I obviously love the Ford Hook Tall Snapdragon. I have four trays full of this particular snapdragon. I can't wait to see what they look like this summer. So I have lots of pansies growing. The first two trays are full of celestial blue pansies. And then the final two trays are full of a mix of different pansy colors, mostly yellows and purples. Those are, those are from seeds that I collected last year. Who doesn't love vinca? This first tray is full of white vinca. The next tray over is full of hot pink vinca. I collected the seeds of both of these trays from last year. This next tray here is the Heat Wave Blue with Eye Vinca. And then this final tray over here are the Heat Wave Apricot Vinca. Over down here, we have the Chandler Alto Light Pink Stock. And then in this whole tray here is the Chandler Alto Red Stock. Over here, we have a mix of things. Towards the back, I have a type of salvia, and it's a white or cream color salvia that I collected from my neighbor across the street. We have some different types of pansies over here, and then this one little tray has impatiens in it. And they're tiny right now, but they are from seeds that I collected last year. I need to grow a lot more of these seeds or plants. I haven't done that yet. This final tray here is full of beautyberry plants. I grew the same type of plant last year, so I have a whole tray of those growing right now. Down here is a mix of different plants that I still need to prick out and put into six packs. We have a couple of lobelias. We have white lobelia, crystal palace lobelia. I have a blue lobelia that I collected the seeds from. I collected the seeds from the white one as well. And then we have a snapdragon mix that I collected the seeds from last year. Last year was the first year I grew stock, and I fell in love with it. It smells so nice. The first three trays that I'm growing are fragrant perfume 10-week stock. And the last tray in this bunch is the column blend stock. This was my first year growing tomatoes under grow lights for the fruit. And I'm so excited. I've been enjoying the tomatoes all winter long. So I have the orange hat tomatoes here. Check out the Dusty Miller. It's so cute. I grew Dusty Miller last year and it was just such a pretty color in the yard. So I have Dusty Miller growing down here. And then I have a little bit more asparagus, and I have a ton of Tiny Tim Sweet Alyssum. Down here, I have four trays more of the Tiny Tim Sweet Alyssum. I learned last year that Alyssum is a great plant to grow in the springtime. It's a nice, cool weather crop that you can grow, as well as Dusty Miller. So it's going to look great in my containers with my pansies. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and follow along so you can watch the progress of how these seedlings are growing. Finally, make it a great day with gardening.